Hello everyone. Uh, in this video, we are going to implement runtime permission uh, and ask users uh, for their for their consent to allow the application to to basically access their location. So let me start by first going to map activity, and uh, I'll start it from here. I'll first define a constant integer private static int. Uh, let this be permission request code and I can give any value to this uh, okay let, 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 okay I'll give it 12 okay so after this uh, what we're going to do is so before the app starts running we are going to basically check for runtime permission if the user has not granted any so just define the uh, function here check permission check permission and that's it so this function okay I think we already have a result keyword for this one so check runtime permission and we leave it in this way okay so uh, sorry I forgot to forgot to mention that we we have been continuing from the last video if you haven't watched my two previous videos on Google Maps I'll put the link below so please go and watch it first and then come back to this video uh, so that you'll understand the process and the flow of this so let me create this method now inside this function this might be quite long so please be patient about this so what we're going to do is we are first going to uh, check uh, if the permission has already been granted or not so yeah once the permission is granted uh, we do not need to need to keep asking the user uh, for those permissions again so we'll check that so if just follow me along so context compact dot check self permission now we need to give a context here I think the context can be given using this and after that we base basically trying to check for one particular permission that is manifest dot permission dot access find location and and with this one if this is not granted so package manager dot not equals to permission granted so if this permission is not given we'll do something if it's given well we don't need to do anything we'll just leave it as it is leave it as it is okay so inside this one now inside this one what we're going to do is we're going to check if uh, activity compact dot check self permission uh, and inside this this again manifest dot permission dot access find location uh, okay did I miss something no sorry activity compact dot this should be should show request permission rationale and inside this will again add something now uh, what this does is so if the permission is not granted and then uh, and then if there is a need to ask ask for this runtime permission we're basically going to ask user for the permission so new will create an alert dialog here I think you already know about alert dialog now so new alert dialog dot builder we need a context which is which can be as this and then we'll add parameters for alert dialog here if you if you are my students again we have uh, learned a different approach to implementing alert dialog but it it also can be implemented using this way basically if you don't have any custom layout for alert dialog we can simply uh, integrate it in this way too so let me write permission needed it will be the title of my alert dialog and for the message uh, to receive current location you have to allow uh, allow location access okay and after this I think I can place a set positive button which will be okay and once the user presses OK, something is going to happen. So this can be implemented using new and then dialogs dialog interface that on click listener. 
and again we have one more parameter dot uh, set negative button and there will be another button called cancel and, and for that we'll again implement an interface to define what will happen if the user user clicks cancel okay so we're basically dealing with uh, the case where the user presses ok so what we're going to do is activity compat dot request permissions uh, so I need a context here I think I can give okay I should give main activity dot this now because I'm already I've already uh, defined and interface now I'm I have already implemented an interface just before this so okay so this is maps activity dot this and after this uh, what's the parameter so new string array and my pattern my permission that I'm asking for is manifest dot permission dot uh, find location and now we can also add manifest dot permission dot access course location okay so basically we have both of those uh, inside our inside our function uh, and after that what we need to do is we need to associate our request code here so the permission request code that we had defined is going to be associated here okay so what this does is it asks users for the permission using our alert dialog interface now what happens uh, when the user clicks on cancel now when the user clicks on cancel uh, i can basically dismiss this dialog so dialog interface dot dismiss okay this can be done okay now when uh, when the user clicks ok now what happens is uh, the application interacts with the system basically interacts with the system setting and then what we did manually in the previous video will now be done uh, with with this communication between the app and the system so that will be basically handled by uh, one function called on request permission result which you can uh, just override here and inside that uh, we can basically check if request code equals to the request code that we sent here permission request code now again if you're my students i think you remember our uh, stat activity for result we had done some kind of similar thing there yes yeah, so so if this is the one uh what i'll check is if grant results basically it's an integer array grant results dot length is greater than zero which means uh, at least one permission has been granted uh, and grant results uh, zero that means the first permission that's granted is package manager dot permission granted so yeah if if the if the total number of permission granted is permission granted is greater than zero and and then i'm also checking uh if if uh if the permission is actually granted then what i need to do is i basically need to refresh my activity here uh, i can simply do that using intent i equals to new intent or or not new intent i can actually do get intent and after this i can do finish sorry a semicolon is missing after this i can do finish and after this one i can just call stat activity and intent here intent i sorry intent i here okay this should do i guess and then uh if this is not the case if this is not the case or if the grant results uh length is still zero then i can basically sh sh show a post message telling me that the permission has been denied okay uh so i guess that's it let's try and run this application let me quickly open my screen if you can see this here scrcpy uh and before uh 
running the application since this app is already on my phone and the location has also been and and the location access has also been granted so what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove that application so it's basically maps so yeah this is map activity I'm going to remove this on install now when I try to run this application we'll see how the runtime permission uh, will be will be asked to the user and then what happens after we allow the runtime permission there okay so allow the project to build allow the Gradle to build the project and then install the application here again uh, since now I it's a completely new application so in some of your devices uh, you might be asked whether to allow the installation or not so you basically need to click allow for that one uh, so it's not a very huge thing I I think you can also reuse your code uh, for any other permissions that you would like to use uh, so like if you're accessing internal storage external storage you can again do the same thing uh, just the permissions will be changed here that's all okay so you don't need to change too much uh, in in this scenario and then you can basically reuse your code okay and the app is still building okay the app seems to be installing and I guess I have a prompt in my phone to allow the installation so I'm clicking allow again there is some kind of lag here between my device and and the screen presented there so okay we were not asked for any kind of permission I think we missed something here let me check again okay what happened was now uh, if this permission was never asked I basically need one more one more thing to add here so mm, that is uh, this same line of code that I've added here we need to reiterate it inside the else condition again you need to delete your application okay uh, so map activity will be deleted and we'll install it fresh now again the, actually remove the application just to uh, simulate a fresh fresh app installation and then view uh, the runtime permission prompt here so installing and it's running now as you can see the prompt uh, so now if you hit deny now what happens is uh, the permission will not be granted and if you hit allow allow only while using the app now basically this is because uh, Android has tightened tightened its security more and more uh, so we'll click the available option to us allow only when in the app now the app now the activity is refreshed once because of this intent code and then we can see uh, my current location button here now so now if we basically press this button this should basically show show my current location and it does okay it moves to my current location based on uh, based on where I am and then uh, it says the it also sets the zoom um, based on the based on the zoom value that I provided okay so this is all for this video in the next video we are going to see how to draw lines lines in the map and then how to draw uh, circles in the map okay so I hope you I hope you can run this video on your side if you have any problem do comment down below or if you are my students you can ask me during the lecture hours so thank you